Hi, this is Carlos from CoralView welcoming you back to another episode of CVTV. Today we will go over the installation and use of the new IceCap Gyre interface module as well as clearing up some common misconceptions. The Gyre interface module is an aftermarket product that will allow you to connect your MaxSpec Gyre pump to a third-party controller by using an available 0 to 10 volt port. This makes the module very versatile and almost universally compatible with most system controllers like the Neptune Systems Apex or the Reef Angel. In essence, the module allows you to use your system controller as the gyre controller. Each IceCap gyre interface module comes with the interface box, a Y connection cable, and a user manual. An aquarium system controller is not included with the module, but it is required. Remember that the Gyre interface module is a third-party product intended to facilitate the connection between the MaxSpec Gyre pump and a system controller. To connect your MaxSpec Gyre to the interface module, you will need to unplug the pump's power supply, remove the standard Gyre controller, and reconnect the pump and power supply cable to the Gyre interface module. Plug one end of the included Y cable into the side of the gyre interface module. Now, to connect the gyre interface module to your system controller, take the opposite end of the cable with the Ethernet jack and connect it into an available 0 to 10 volt port. When you first connect the module, it will run a calibration cycle of 10 seconds. Now, be very careful because during this time, the pump will run at 100% speed. The calibration cycle only runs the very first time you connect the pump to the module. Under normal working conditions, the status light will remain off. If the module detects an error, such as a broken propeller or no pump, the status light will illuminate red and the pump will be stopped. The red light will generally remain on for 1-2 to two seconds. Then it will turn off and the module will try to restart the pump again. If the problem has been fixed, the pump will resume normal operations. But if the module detects an error once again, then the red light indicator will turn back on. The module will continue to try to restart the pump until the error has been corrected. The other great feature of the IceCap interface module is that it allows you to connect your MaxSpec gyre to a backup battery. When loss of power is detected, the module will go into backup mode, where the controller input is ignored and the module runs the pump at a preset low speed, resulting in a single pump running close to 35 hours with a fully charged battery. Now, I don't want to overload you with too much information, so we will cover the backup battery in a future video. Over the last few weeks, there has been a lot of buzz about this new interface box and there have been a lot of questions. So here are my top 10 questions asked on the gyre interface box, as well as clearing up some misconceptions. Will the module run multiple pumps? The module can only run one pump at a time. If you would like to control multiple gyres with your system controller, each pump requires its own interface module. Can the module work without a system controller? No, the interface module is not a controller in itself. It requires a system controller to connect to and program the pump. How many 0 to 10 volt ports does the module require? The interface module only requires one single pump connection. Many system controllers out there have variable speed ports that can control two separate pumps. The IceCap interface module only requires a free pump connection on a 0 to 10 volt port. Can I run the battery backup without the module interface? Yes, you can, but the gyre won't be able to automatically ramp down its speed to conserve battery power, and you won't be able to monitor how much life is left on the battery. Can I run my own battery backup with the module? No, the IceCap battery backup unit allows the IceCap module to monitor the life and energy charge of the battery. 
when the pump is running on battery power, the module will flash its LEDs, letting you know how much charge is left on the battery. I already own my MaxPick gyre. Can I use the module? Absolutely. You can replace the current basic controller with the IceCap module and connect it to your system controller. As we mentioned before, the IceCap module requires a system controller and cannot operate as a standalone product. Will the IceCap module be included with all new MaxPick gyres? No. The IceCap module is an aftermarket product made by IceCap without any affiliation to MaxPick. The IceCap module is sold separately. How do I program the IceCap interface module? The interface module does not have its own programming language. You do all your programming and controller via your system controller. The module only facilitates the connection between the MaxPec gyre and your system controller. In essence, the IceCap module allows your system controller to become the gyre's controller. Will the module allow me to run MaxPec gyre in alternating gyre mode? Yes, please check back with us. In an upcoming video, we will explain in depth how alternating gyre mode can be achieved using your system controller. And the number one question is, drums please. When can I buy the gyre interface module? The IceCap gyre interface module is now available exclusively at www.coralview.com. If you would like more information on the IceCap Gyre Interface Module, check out the link below. If you have any technical questions that you wish to ask, please head over to www.coralview.com forward slash support and submit a ticket. If you have any comments or tips that you wish to share with your fellow reefers, feel free to leave them in the area below. If this is your first time joining us, hit that subscribe button as every week we release a new video related to reefing. Thank you again for watching CVTV and we'll see you next time.